And more historical trivia. Today is June 4th. Two days from now will be June 6th. Everybody knows about the D-Day invasion that happened in France during World War II. That was back in 1944. It'll be 80 years ago, two days from now. What a lot of people don't remember is on today, the 4th, uh, two other significant events happened during the war. One, Rome was captured. That is the first enemy capital captured by the Western Allies during World War II and soon after the downfall of the Italian military and them throwing in the towel and somewhat switching sides. Also on June 4th, not known until after the end of the war, the German submarine U-505 was captured at sea in combat. They were encircled by a hunter-killer group and the guy in charge was Captain Johnny Walker, and he had this crazy idea that you could capture an enemy warship, which hadn't been done since 1812, and they actually pulled it off. They uh, encircled the submarine underwater and basically depth charged it till they ran out of power and got damaged, and the crew popped to the surface and pulled the plug, bailed out, set a bomb, and jumped in the water to be picked up by the Allies. And they sent over a small boat, and some guy with cojones of steel jumped inside the submarine, not knowing what he was up against, found the bomb, pulled the fuse out, put the plug back in, and uh, barely was able to keep the, the U-boat afloat. And then it was captured and towed back to uh, the uh, dock and hidden, and they, they made the crew disappear. They didn't tell the the, uh, the Germans they had him as POW, so they wouldn't know that the boat had been captured. And they got all the secrets out of it. They got a German torpedo, the latest Enigma machine, a lot of stuff that actually helped shorten the war. Western Allies. The U-505 is currently a museum ship at the Chicago Museum of Natural Science uh, that used to be outside for decades and then the weather kind of got to it and they moved it indoors and restored it. It is beautiful. It is an important piece of American history and uh, if you get a chance in Chicago, go, go take a look at it because you can actually touch it. That, that's history and that's a monument to the people who died to give us the freedoms we enjoy today. But uh, it's just a little little historical f footnote here for, for June 4th. Take care.